Hi everyone, we are Irender. Today we will do a test with Houdini and Redshift. Here, I have a small Houdini project and ready to render. Here is my Irender account. I have three images. This one I already installed the Houdini and Redshift before. I will change package to dual RTX 3090. And before boot the image, make sure you have uploaded the scene file and all the data you need to your cloud storage like Google Drive or Dropbox, etc. In case you don't have any cloud storage account or don't have enough storage space, you can use our Sync app, it's free and really convenient, you can download from here. Now, I will show you how it works. As you can see, we have the X and Z drives here, you don't need care about the X drive, it's red only. Just go to the Z drive, this is where I store all the data I need. Just drag and drop to upload your data. In this case my data seems small, I will not use this sync app, I just need copy through remote desktop, after booting and connecting to the image, I will show you later. But for larger data, you should use cloud storage, or our application. Now, let boot the image. The image boot time is based on your image size, so make sure you delete everything you don't need, in the C drive, in the image, before you shut down. This scene I tested before, I will delete it. As you see, all my files are in Z drive, but remember Z and X drive are just network drives, so copy all data, or installation files, to C drive before opening, even output paths, should all be in the C drive, and you can copy the result files back to Z, or upload it later. If you don't do this, your file, or your render may get corrupted. This Z drive will sync to all your images, very convenient. In this case my data seems small, I don't use sync app and Z drive, I basically just copy and paste through remote desktop. This is X drive, where you can find installation files for your software, or you can use your own setup files. For Redshift users, if you want to use our Redshift license, you need to request us before. After the rendering is complete, you can copy through remote desktop like I did before, but just for small files, and this time I want show you use Z drive and sync app, just copy to Z drive and shut down, you can download and upload anytime from Z drive through the sync app. Or you can use your cloud storage, it's up to you. When you are done, you cannot shut down inside here, just turn off the image from the website, it will automatically shut down after a minute. You can see on the website it is calculating the time and deducting your points. And now you can download the result file anytime you want.
Thank you for watching.